Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's code is P0430, which means your car's computer thinks the catalytic converter on bank 2 usually the passenger side isn't working properly. This can cause increased emissions and even rob your engine of power. Don't worry, we'll diagnose the problem and get your car breathing easy again. Your catalytic converter is like an exhaust after treatment center. It takes nasty pollutants and converts them into less harmful gases. The P0430 code means the car's computer isn't seeing the expected cleaning effect from the converter on bank 2. If your vehicle's powertrain control module has registered a P0430 code, you're likely to experience one or more of these signs. An illuminated check engine light, increased emissions, lack of engine power, decreased fuel efficiency, rotten egg or a sulfur smell from the exhaust. Before diving into repairs, let's diagnose what's causing the code. Remember, this video is for informational purposes only, and consulting a mechanic is always recommended. Clean it out, sometimes a clogged converter can be revived with a good cleaning. There are special catalytic converter cleaners you can add to your gas tank. Follow the instructions carefully, and then take your car for a good long. Drive on the highway to get things hot and burn off any deposits. Wash the catalytic converter. Remove the catalytic converter. Get a bucket with water and detergent. Soak the converter for 10 hours. Sensor savvy, faulty oxygen sensors can also trigger a P0230 code. These sensors monitor the oxygen levels in the exhaust before and after the converter. Replacing the downstream oxygen sensor the one after the converter can sometimes solve the issue when DIY won't cut it. If you've tried these fixes and the code persists, it might be time for replacements. A bad catalytic converter itself may need to be swapped in. This is a more complex job, so consulting a mechanic is recommended. Remember, replacing a catalytic converter can be expensive, so it's always best to try these troubleshooting steps first. Bonus tip, always check your car's manual for specific recommendations related to your vehicle. Hopefully this video gave you a better understanding of the P0430 code and some options for fixing it. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tackled a P0430 code and what method worked for you. And if you're looking for more car care tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for next week's video where we'll be diving into deciphering those weird engine noises. Thanks for watching.